is CNN Breaking News. We are covering the violence on the streets of Bangkok and Thailand's Prime Minister has just finished addressing the nation. They want to turn to Dan Rivers now who is in Bangkok. Uh, Dan, give us an idea of what the Prime Minister said. Well, Apisit Wedjajiwa went on uh, Thai television broadcast on all channels to explain what is happening uh, here. He said there are armed groups among uh, the red shirt protesters. Uh, he said a small group of uh, those protesters, a small clique of them, want civil war. Uh, he used the word civil war and they want to cause losses. Uh, he, he went on to explain how they, uh, the government and the army, are trying to counter that. Uh, he said uh, armed groups are mingling among civilians and attacking army checkpoints, that they're using M79 grenade launchers. Uh, but what we're doing is necessary. We can't allow the rule of law to fail. Uh, he went on to talk about the fact we can't have armed groups roaming the streets and reiterated his intentions uh, to try and end this quickly. Uh, he said the longer the protest continues, the higher the risk to the public. And if we, set, if we allow it to continue, it will set a bad precedent. Uh, we're trying uh, to get women and children to leave, he said, but the best way to stop the losses is to end the protest. Uh, he appealed uh, 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 to the people uh, for their understanding. He spoke of the false rumours circulating that they are going to enter the protest site uh, soon, uh, saying that what they're trying to do uh, is to surround it uh, and that uh, what they're doing is for the benefit uh, of society uh, long term. Uh, so pretty serious words uh, when the Prime Minister of the country uh, is talking uh, about the possibility of, of one small group here uh, attempting to bring Thailand into civil war. That gives you an idea of the gravity uh, that the Prime Minister views this situation. Uh, but he uh, was basically saying throughout he's tried negotiation, he's tried a reconciliation plan and it's been rejected by the protesters. Dan, what have you seen? Have you seen evidence of these protesters armed and is there intent here to trigger civil war? Rosemary, I have seen a lot of protesters, the hardcore protesters, out clearly looking menacing with sticks and staves and batons and slingshots and rocks ready to throw. I personally have never seen any red shirt protesters or their black shirt guards with guns, although that is being alleged here by many media organisations. I personally haven't seen that with my own eyes. Uh, but what we have seen today are some terrible clashes. We were uh, basically caught up uh, in one outside the protest area, uh, to the north of the protest area today. Uh, nearby in Victory Monument, uh, we saw people out on the streets uh, clapping on uh, small groups of red shirts as they faced off with the army. And I think this video is the most compelling of all that came into us today. This clearly shows army snipers uh, shooting uh, towards people. Uh, we, uh, my colleague Sarah Seidner was on the scene uh, nearby and, and clearly saw people being shot. Uh, we don't know whether the people that she saw being shot were being shot by these army snipers. But this is clear evidence that the army has got snipers out on the streets and that they are firing uh, towards uh, people. Uh, now we don't know if the people that they're firing towards uh, they've seen people carrying guns or whether they think these people are armed uh, but I think that video speaks fairly clearly uh, and shows just how dangerous it is on the streets now. There are bullets flying in all directions uh, and large explosions going off uh, and it's been going on pretty much all day certainly where uh, we were and where Sarah was today uh, down on Rama 4 uh, Road uh, just a few hundred meters away. And Dan this is the newest video we have in isn't it? From the streets of Bangkok. Uh, that's right, and, and I think this is the first time I have seen army snipers in action. Uh, I must stress, we don't know what the army snipers are seeing down their telescopic sights. Uh, but clearly, there are men in army fatigues uh, who are using uh, telescopic rifles. And this ties in with a lot of eyewitness accounts that we've had on Rama 4, uh, claiming that people are being shot by snipers. Uh, I've had lots of people calling me saying, you know, people are being picked off by snipers. Now, we don't know whether the people that are being picked off are being picked off by army snipers, but clearly the army has got snipers deployed, and clearly they are firing in these pictures. All right, our Dan Rivers uh, reporting there from Bangkok. This uh, after the statements from the Prime Minister in Thailand, who claims that uh, groups of these protesters are armed, and their intention here, according to the Prime Minister, is to trigger 
civil war. Also looking at that new footage that uh, came into CNN, you can see more of that at the top of the hour. We're just uh, less than 15 minutes away from our news. Do stay with us. We'll leave you now with the uh, Worldview in Progress.